Michael Jordan has made it more than clear that he is not in support of his son's relationship with Larsa Pippen. And it looks like things are getting out of hand because MJ recently put Larsa on blast publicly for trying to trap his son. Wait, does Michael believe that Larsa is only after his money? Okay, so for those who somehow haven't heard, MJ's son Marcus has been dating Real Housewives star Larsa Pippen and the internet has been hating hard on the relationship because child, there is a lot to unpack about this relationship. One major reason that people are hating on the relationship is because of the insane age difference between Larsa and Marcus. Larsa is 16 years older than Marcus and a lot of people find this age gap to be disturbing at the very least. But that's not the only reason because there's also this narrative that has been going around on social media that Larsa has known Marcus since he was a kid. Larsa was married to Scottie Pippen in the 90s, which was around the same time that Scotty and Michael Jordan played together on the NBA team, Chicago Bulls, so she was around Marcus when he was growing up, so that makes the whole thing even more weird. But just because Scotty and MJ were on the same team doesn't mean that they were on great terms because they had a lot of bad blood between them. They could never seem to get along with each other and to this day, they still have beef. But even though both men don't like each other, it goes without saying that their families would have socialized at one point or another because they were on the same team. Plus, most NBA players run in the same circles anyways, so they were sure to have run into each other at some point. According to the timeline, Marcus would have been around 6 or 7 years old and Larsa would be about 22 or 23 years old when they would have run into each other. So the thought of Larsa being intimately attracted to someone that she first got to know when he was only 6 or 7 has been giving people the ick. I have to admit, it would be super creepy if that was the case and I'm sure that if the roles were reverse people would have found it more disturbing but according to Larsa this is a false narrative that has been going around on social media she claims that she never met Marcus when he was a child and it looks like this has been super upsetting for her because she went as far as to leave a comment on the shave room denying that she had known Marcus all those years ago she said I just met him three years ago. I never knew him or his family. I was 21 years old and in college when Scotty played that one year with MJ and we weren't friends with them like everyone thinks. But then people didn't really buy this because they believed that she was just trying to save face because she was getting dragged and harassed so badly on social media. But she has stuck to the narrative and she even went further to explain more about this in an interview that she did with Tamron Hall. She insisted that she hadn't known Marcus when he was a child claiming that they had met four years ago at a party and had befriended each other. Well, I feel like we, we literally just met at a party um, four years ago. Oh, really? And we were just friends. Because we we all lived in Chicago. And yeah. When did you meet him? Four years ago. Four years, at where? At a party, they? at a party, I, like an LA party. It kind of sounded like she was trying to defend herself and people were not up for it, especially after she made yet another interesting comment about how badly she tried to hide their relationship at the very start. She said, I can never really put you under your name in my phone, so I had you under Mark Jacob. I didn't want anyone to know when you called me. Well, fans believe that was the reason she went to such great lengths to hide their relationship. It's because she low-key knew that she was doing something wrong and unacceptable and she didn't want to get the backlash from people. But honestly, I think that she could could have just been trying to protect herself from the backlash that she knew she was going to get. I mean, let's be real. Even without the crazy age difference, people would have still have said something because of the relationship between Scotty and MJ. It would have been a messy situation either way, but the whole age thing just makes it worse. It was obvious that they wanted to keep the relationship low key for as long as they could because they didn't publicly acknowledge each other at the beginning of the relationship. We only found out about it because an insider spilled the beans saying, Larsa and Marcus Jordan are casually hanging out. The two have a lot of same friends in common, so they have been around one another a lot and enjoy hanging out. They are having fun together. They also added, Larsa's divorce from Scotty was finalized at the beginning of this year and she's enjoying that freedom. But even with this, they still tried to play coy and when Larsa was asked about the relationship, this is what she said. People say you're dating. I have a lot of friends. I mean, I'm very social. I was married for 23 years. Like this is the time for me to really like Honing on my relationships. Yeah, this turned out to be a lie and the relationship was exposed only a few weeks later when paparazzi pictures of them kissing went viral online. At first, people believed that this was just another cheap fling that would end in a matter of months, but it has been almost a year and they are still going strong. An insider recently spoke on the relationship saying, they are dating and happy, they're having fun, she's trying her best to keep it quiet and not make a big deal out of it, 
they see each other at least a few times a week. Now that we know that this is more than just a casual fling, people have been wondering what on earth Michael Jordan thinks about his son dating his enemy's ex. Well, Larsa was quick to answer the question in an interview where she claimed that she had met the Jordans and that everyone was fine with the relationship and accepted her. Have you met Michael Jordan and Juanita Jordan, and what did they say about the relationship? You know, I don't really, I mean, of course, I recently have met, you know, I've recently been hanging out with them, um, but I don't really want to talk about them. I feel like it's not about, you know, my parents or his parents, they're all happy, our whole family's fine. But it turns out that she was probably stretching the truth because according to insiders, MJ is not in support of her dating his son. The insider revealed that MJ believes that Larsa is trying to trap Marcus because of how influential the Jordans are. He believes that she is only using Marcus to help her stay relevant. He doesn't believe that she is really into Marcus and he suspects that she is only using him as a pawn to elevate herself. The insider also added that while MJ understands that Marcus is old enough to make his own decisions, he has shared his concerns about Larsa trapping Marcus and they have had that conversation. And if there is one thing we know about Michael Jordan, it's that he is not the type to shy away from sharing his thoughts. So when French paparazzi asked if he approved of Marcus and Larsa's relationship, he said this. Hey, Mr. Jordan, what do you think about Marcus and Larsa pipping together? You approve of it? No. You don't approve? This was kind of embarrassing for Larsa because fans have been dragging her and accusing her of lying about having MJ's stamp of approval. But Marcus was quick to rush to her defense and he spoke to ET saying, I think my family just wants to see me happy. And so as long as I'm happy, they're happy with, you know, where I'm living. Everybody had an opinion at first. I think there was some shock and interest early on, but I think that was the whole point of us trying to spend some family time together. But most people are on his dad's side here and they believe that Larsa is trying to trap him. They left comments saying, why are we surprised an opportunist is taking advantage of another opportunity? We're giving her too much press. MJ, I am with you 2000%. She is trying to latch on to the next thing to support her the same way she did Scotty, who might I add should have known better. She was trained well to smell money, taste money, and spend it all and hide enough for when she walks away from the game. And she got Scotty's retirement. Now she wants Marcus's inheritance. Disown him if he doesn't leave her. Unfortunately for Larsa, it looks like people are still not on her side here because she is still getting a lot of smoke. But what do you guys think about this? Do you think she is lying about having MJ's approval or did he lie and set her up to be dragged? Drop your thoughts in the comments and if you think this is messy, child, just wait until you see this next video.